Now we have used Zsphere and Zizu tools. Another unique way to create object is similar to Zsphere is called Zsketch. It's more freeform way to create shapes. It can be a little finicky and there's a lot more advanced things you can do with them than I can go into here. However, I found it to be a great way to make new objects that need to be built on the surface of another object. Let's see how it works. Now, Zsketching needs to be made on Zsphere sub 2. Right now in our scene, you can see that we have this object. So what I have to do, I have to go to simply and sub tool and I have to append a Zsphere here. So once I will do that, you can see the Zsphere is here. So what's interesting is that about Zsketch is uh, it can be made on any object that is visible in your scene, not just the currently selected sub tool or the Z sphere. So let's do one thing here. Let's go back here. Okay. And and you know one thing why we imported Z sphere because there should be a Z sphere. Without the Z sphere, you cannot use the Z sketch. So you can have this, but once you are done, you can remove this one. So first we will apply the Z sketch on the Z sphere, then we will apply on this skull. So let me hide this one and keep this here. Okay. And maybe uh, this stage, let me press my scale tool here to scale it up a bit here. Okay. Or I think let's scale it down or keep it as it is. Okay. So now I will go to the drawing mode. I will press Q on my keyboard and now I'm in the drawing mode. So let's see how these sketching can be used on just the Z sphere by itself. And then we will move to the uh, like now skull. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here. And after that, what I want to do is that I want to turn on my Z sketch. So let's come down here and you will see there is a Z sketch option. So if I would go in the Z sketch option, you will see here there is edit sketch and there is a uh, show sketch. So at this point, you will see uh, that it's, it's like the show sketch button. If I will click on this one, nothing will happen here. Okay. But if I will click on the edit sketch, you can see I will start now drawing with the Z sketch. Okay. And that's what you can see. Let me undo this one so that I can tell you what you can do with this one. So before doing that again, I will make my draw size smaller. Now it's going to create little spheres. You can see that on the Z sphere, okay, out of our brush. This brush is pretty small, so it's creating a small one. So if I will make it bigger, it will make a bigger one, but I don't want to create bigger one. It's better to create small. And if I will uh, go back here and turn off uh, and turn on my uh, the symmetry so you can see it will work with the symmetry just like this so something else uh, that uh, you might want to check is uh, just press b on your keyboard and when i will press b on my keyboard you will just see i have here different kind of brushes this is because i'm in z sketch mode so the standard brushes are not visible the one uh, you would use uh, on the object usually but the one that are visible right now are the special z sketch brushes so you get these special brushes that are just for z sketching now uh, there's really just two that you will be using uh, from here most of the time the one is basically you can see as armature okay and then you have the sketch one over here which is already selected Okay, so these two we will be uh, using uh, most of the time. Here. Now, difference between both of them is that uh, Sketch One uh, builds sketching on the surface of an existing uh, object. Like suppose you can see that it is creating the Z spheres on the surface. Okay, and if I undo this, okay, and if I will take instead of uh, Z sketch, if I will take Armature. So 
what does the armature do is that armature will build shapes branching off into the space like suppose if i click here let me make this brush size a little bigger and if i will go it will go off so let me move around and you can see that it has created you know some sort of this so maybe i can make a head over here let me snap back here okay and i can make some leg here oops it's too big the legs are too big i think so yeah okay so this is how you can do uh, you know with this uh, uh, armature okay so now that we have got basic armature made from uh, some sort of character you can see that it looks uh, like a weird character so but anyhow we we just have a character you can say that now i can switch back to my sketch one mode here and then i can you know work on these existing one to give uh, them more life to it okay like uh, i can make a face here okay funny thing okay and i can you know it looks like a potato head so you can see that it's creating a nice sort of uh, blobby brushes over here okay it can be good for curly hairs stylized characters or you know those kind of things so you can see we have this weird potato head i don't know it looks like a ginger or whatever okay but if you're working you know uh, more seriously on your project so you could start building up like a uh, musculature or at uh, anatomy or just volume uh, whatever you need to do or uh, to do start creating whatever sort of design you want to make so now with the z sketching you can also hold down shift key so this will sort of smooth it out as well some of the projects like suppose oops so if i will uh, let me make this bigger and if i the intensity is too high let me do one thing reduce the intensity a bit and if i press shift and you can see that i can easily you know sort of smooth it out as well it might help to turn up your draw size if you want to smooth something bigger or you can work with the intensity if it is too intense so you know these kind of things you can you can also do the smoothing of uh, with, along with your z brush sorry uh, the z sketch so it's quite handy it comes with okay the smoothing and all those things now with z sketching it always uh, it, it's always very rough and loose so don't think you're going to get into any details here it's just about building an overall shape and once you have that then you can you know uh, convert them into a mesh and then you can apply some of the changes that you're looking for so you could put a lot of time into this but you kind of get the idea like you know uh, you're just making a, uh, a base uh, here and then later on you will uh, actually that geometry you will be sculpt uh, like you know will be sculpting so the whole idea is that that if you want to turn uh, this into an actual geometry that you can sculpt on we are going to have uh, to turn this into a mesh object and that is done through unified skin so uh, last we studied about the adapter skin but here in the z uh, spheres uh, sorry z sketch we will use the unified skin uh, sk unified skin over here so let me turn on the preview here and now you can see that how it looks okay let me do one thing let me give a, a bit of division here or i think it's better off without the subdivision and maybe okay mm, now it's good so now what this did is it uh, it created a new tool of, uh, if i will press on the make unified skin so you will see that it will make a new uh, skin over here if i will go back here okay and this is the new one which is created so uh, it just created a new tool up here so uh, in your toolbox you can see that uh, it will it has it has turned that z sketching uh, into polygon now if i will go back here in my uh, mode so you can see that 
how it is being created. It's quite crazy right now, and you can see each time when I was uh, painting with the Z sketch, it produced the polygraphs. So we will learn about the polygraphs in detail, so don't worry about that. So now let's do one thing here. Uh, let's go back to our original one, Z sphere. Okay, now we are here. And you can see that we have this uh, preview mode. You can turn this off now. So uh, that was building Z sketching on the top of a Z sphere. Now let's see how we can do it on a mesh object. So uh, I will go back to my sub tool over here. Okay. And what I will do at this stage is that I will delete this one. Okay. And let's move back here. And at this time, what I will do here, I will bend. Okay, there is one more thing here. This is this uh, my skull over here is opposite way. It's showing the other way around. So what I will do, I will just rotate it. And 180 degrees. And I will go back to the drawing. Now it's fine. Okay. Let's append again the Z sphere. I will just press here, Z sphere, and the Z sphere is here. And basically, it's a smaller size, which is fine. It just have to be there. So now, as you know, we got this uh, Z sphere here. Okay. Now we will be able to paint anywhere we want using the Z sketch. So I don't want to paint now on the Z sphere. I want to now paint on the my uh, skull. So I will go to my skull sub two, okay, and then down I will go, and you will see that I cannot see the Z sketch because I am not on the Z sphere. So I have to go to the Z sphere, then I have to go down, and I will see now Z sketch. Now I am on the Z sphere sub two layer, so if I will start drawing, that doesn't mean it will draw on the Z sphere. Z sketch can draw anywhere, any surface, whether I'm on that layer or I'm not on that layer. So I will just go on the edit sketch here. And if I will start drawing, it will start drawing on my skull over here. So let's see. Now you can see I'm drawing. So this is the size of the brush which I have. And if I want to make it a little bit bigger here, and then, uh, oops. I think I mistakenly moved to the. Oh, okay. Actually, what happened was that I forgot to turn this on when I was ch changing the size. Okay, so now you can see the brush size is bigger. So if I don't want that, I can have the brush size a little bit smaller, edit sketch, and then start drawing this. And you know, as I have the skull, so what I can do here is that I can get give some, uh, you know, uh sort of a, uh, you can say, nice uh, muscles or flesh to it. So how the muscles actually work. So this is the way you can do that here. So this is quite nice if you want to create, uh, like, you know, want to give flesh or uh, like muscles to your uh, skeletons. OK, so I will just turn on my. Uh, the symmetry mode over here okay and i think because this, this object is not in the center maybe that is why i cannot turn on my symmetry so that could be reason nope. so for some reason i cannot turn it off because maybe this is off the symmetry but it doesn't matter but you got the idea actually this is how you can work on and you know i can give it's a uh, flash over here and later on i can convert that to whatever I want i think i'm going too aggressive with this so a bit here now one thing here is that let me show you here if i want to fill this gap of the nose so i cannot do that with the sketch one brush because what it will do is that it will go inside it 
and it will start painting inside. It will not fill it up. So to fill up some gaps, it's uh, better to use the armature tool. Okay. So here I will go. Start drawing over here and you can see that easily it will fill it up. Okay. And then you can go back to your sketch one brush and then start drawing over that. Okay, here I have the gap again. So I can simply uh, go back to my armature here and fill this one with that, maybe other. And here as well, I can just close it with that, uh, with the armature. I, uh, I can close it and then I can cover it with the of these gaps so armatures is good to cover up the gaps like suppose this one i cannot do with the help of the z sketch so i can do this with the armature so you can see now i can go back to z sketch and i can start drawing. so also you can see that uh kind of looks weird but you got the idea that you can create uh more of this and create a skin out of this one okay or muscles or a flesh out of this one so I hope you might have got the basic idea now. So let's turn into uh, like this into a geometry as well. So I will go back to my unified skin over here. Okay. Now uh, what I will do here is that before making this, I can just preview here. Okay. And you can see how it will turn off. Maybe I can reduce the resolution. Okay. And then preview that. You can see how I have it here. Okay. So, uh, and then once I can press over here, make unified, uh, make unified skin. So it will be here and then you can go or what else you can do is that you can simply go here. Okay. To your hide this one, hide your Z sphere. Just go to your Z sketch and you can press append and the one that is created the skin, you can bring it back here. And once it is there, so you can you know use your smooth tool to smooth it up and then i can press smooth key and then i can smooth it up and you can make this bigger the brush and you can see that i can easily smooth this out the whole thing so you can uh, smooth it up or what you can of course do is that you can add some more details using the clay brush tool or using the you know your standard brush tool and then you know keep on working on on this so uh, the z sketching is more useful for really organic things it tends to create a result that's kind of fleshy and lumpy and bumpy so probably not good for mechanical or hard surface things and uh, that's pretty much that the z sketch uh, usually do so uh, that's the basic of the Z-sketching, very useful for creating objects that need to snap onto the surface of another object, just like the way we did it, especially if you want to give uh, a skull a flesh or, you know, uh, something, uh, you know, on it, but have to be organic rather than being a more of a, you know, hard surface. Otherwise, you have to work more a lot if you want to convert that into a hard surface. So I hope you have understood about the Z-sketch and uh just keep on pra practicing on it because zbrush is all about uh practicing just keep on zbrushing so you can understand more concept of these z spheres z tools and you know z sketch so uh if you have liked my video please click on the like button and if you want some uh, if you have some questions please leave it in the comment section below and please feel free to share my videos on your social media accounts so I can get more subscriber and that will motivate me to create some more, uh, you know, like videos and all those things. So guys, uh, I hope you are enjoying all my uh, Z, uh, ZBrush uh, essential training videos. So keep supporting me and we'll meet uh, in the next session. So until then, take care.